The infamous Academy of Paldea. A place of learning, a place of unity, and a government conspiracy? Well, let's talk about the Academy and see what we can unearth, because something certainly seems off about our director Clavel. The Naranja or Yuva Academy was built 805 years ago when the Paldean Empire and the surrounding nations unified into one region, the Paldea region. The Academy is now the oldest school in Paldea and from what we can see, the oldest building in the entire region. It's very weird that we do not have any buildings older than 805 years old in the Paldea region when in other regions we have buildings standing for much longer. Regardless, this academy was a place to foster knowledge. As the saying goes, those seeking knowledge need look no further than the oranges or grapes of Paldea. For the most part, this seems to be a correct statement. Having many legitimate classes that you can take part in to learn many different skills and knowledge about life and Paldea in general. However, the more you look into the academy, the weirder it becomes. Let's go back to the beginning, 805 years ago. Much like in real life, when one large entity controls all the knowledge and how things are shared from this entity to the rest of the population, it allows there to be some personal bias put into the curriculum, and it allows the knowledge given to be selective. It makes you wonder if the things you are learning are part of the Paldean history or selected by those in power at the Academy. Fast forward to 200 years ago from the time of the Scarlet and Violet games. We have the infamous Area Zero expedition involving Heath. The big expedition, the first recorded one, the one that led to the existence of the Scarlet and Violet book that is the center of 99% of all Gen 9 theories and is one of the main plot devices throughout the entire game. If you read the entire book, you will see many amazing things discovered in the crater of Area Zero that I have already done videos on and so has every other PokeTuber. But let's skip to this page in the book titled, Our Generous Sponsor. There are several key things to notice in these pages. First, this page directly shows the Academy is the largest funder of Heath's expedition. However, there is a key part on this page that I would like to focus on. The fact that it says the data gathered has been shared with the Academy. This hints at the fact that the Academy took in his research and likely considered it to be legitimate information long before the book became a joke and considered fiction across the entire region. What are the legitimate chances that the Academy not only fully funded an entirely falsified mission, especially when it took in information from the exploration that was apparently never made public? We know this information has never been made public because the only record we have of this journey across the region seems to be from the Scarlet and Violet book. The Academy had data and information from the exploration, but never once used it to legitimize the claims of Heath and his team, and also never stated they were given any incorrect data. It's very odd for the largest investor in this massive exploration that people have wasted millennia trying to do stay so silent with the knowledge they received. Unless the school has something to gain from people thinking the crater creatures are mere myth and legend, and they want to drive attention away from the crater for some unknown reason. However, the school's tie-ins do not end there as there is more oddities tying the academy to the crater. We know that the most recent expedition was conducted by Professor Sada and Turo and was considered by all accounts a massive success. The Terra Orbs were created, the Paradox Pokemon brought through time, if you believe that, and many other discoveries were made. However, if you take Miss Ryfort's history class, she makes an interesting claim in her final class about the most recent journey to the crater. She states right here directly that Director Clavel was likely one of the researchers from the professor's research team, which is very interesting considering that Clavel never really talks about ever being in Area Zero throughout the entire game. He simply states that Area Zero is dangerous and that you shouldn't go in there without being prepared. However, if he went into Area Zero with Professor Sada and Turo in the first place, he is oddly quiet about his time spent researching in the crater, if he saw Paradox Pokemon or if the time machine was ever really built. But speaking of the time machine, Director Clavel already knew it existed in the regular storyline. Right here after he sees your Maridon or Coridon for the first time, he states, Could this Pokemon be from Area Zero? Sada, don't tell me you actually did it. Which shows that he knew of Sada's plans deep in the crater, but did not know that they had brought through Coridon or Miridon yet. Once again tying the director of the prestigious Paldean Academy directly to the Area Zero expeditions. I believe that there are things much crazier going on here and that Director Clavel likely saw the Paradox Pokemon that were photographed in the Scarlet and Violet book all those years ago, but did not yet see the box art legendaries at the time of the main story. 
But this explanation goes much deeper than we first thought. For my full theory and thoughts on that, make sure to watch the channel closely in the coming weeks as we have a theory video with another awesome YouTuber that is guaranteed to make all of this make sense. Another important character at the Academy also seems to be oddly in the know about things going on around the crater or things that come from the crater. Professor Jacques not only is an educated professor, but seems to be studying energy that comes from the crater and monitoring it. He is also the first person to know about the powered up raids and knows about black energy crystals long before anyone else does. Another weird fact concerning Jacques is he invented the Pokédex app in this region and felt confident enough about the existence of Paradox Pokémon to make entries for them in his Pokédex. He however did not do this for Charizard, Cinderace, and likely soon to be Greninja, suggesting that he knew prior about the Paradox Pokémon or believed in them enough to make sure that they had dex entries upon capture. Very odd for a professor of science to bring in nonsense from a dubious magazine and a fictional book from around the region, unless he knows more than he leads on. It definitely seems that there are story beats and plot lines that are only known to those in power in the Naranja or Uva academies. Are they withholding information and data? Do they hide things for selfish gain or do they hide them to protect the public from something that they are not ready to know? I think only time will tell these answers, but I'm curious what you think about all this. Is the Academy just as clueless as the rest of us, or are there more grapes on the vine? I don't know if that was anything, but I figured if nothing else I can make you cringe, so that's a win. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you guys next time when the adventure continues.